So muscle powers everything that we do. Playing in the park with your kids, walking to our car, climbing stairs, things we all want to keep doing well till a very old age. But the problem is that muscle functions impacted by a number of conditions, whether they be diseases like ALS, or heart disease, heart failure, or even just aging. Now the key to muscle function is its ability to contract and generate force. And that's driven by a biological machine in muscle called the sarcomere. Now the sarcomere contains a motor, myosin. Myosin is like an engine that takes energy in the form of ATP, an energy molecule in the cell, and it converts it into mechanical force. So muscle contraction is like a tug of war. Think of the motors like hands and the actin filaments like ropes. And pulling those ropes together causes the muscle to shorten and causes the muscle to contract. But those hands aren't always in the right position. They're not always paying attention to grabbing the rope. So when you yell pull, you might only get some of the hands onto the rope. What one of our potential medicines does is that it basically gets hands lined up, ready to pull on the rope. When you say pull, you're already oriented towards the rope and ready to pull on it. More hands are able to get on the rope and pull on it, and you're able to pull with more force. We've also discovered and developed potential medicines designed to change the gear ratio in skeletal muscle by interacting with the troponin complex in the sarcomere. They increase the sensitivity of troponin to calcium. Just like changing gears on a bicycle allows your legs to pedal more effectively, they make the muscle more sensitive to nerve input, which releases calcium in the muscle. Then, the muscle can potentially generate more force when nerve input is limited like in diseases such as ALS or spinal muscular atrophy. By modulating the function of specific proteins responsible for the contraction of muscle, cytokinetics potential medicines may improve the function and lives of people with diseases or conditions of muscle weakness, as well as the world's aging population. By maintaining muscle performance, improving stamina, and building endurance, we hope that we have a unique approach to improving health span for all. Thank you.